What's up everybody, welcome back. I'm Abe, this is Evil Online, and I am looking up and sort of exploring fits for the Kestrel for Faction Warfare. Now, I of course went to the trusty uh, EVE University wiki site, and I'm just going to grab this first one, which is labeled as a Solo PvP Armored Dual Web. So, just looking at that, and right off the bat they've got Rocket Launcher 2s, they've got a 1MN compact afterburner let's see ys8 put one of those on there we got two of the x5 webifier x5 now i think the the general consensus on the kestrel is that it's a kiting ship with rockets so the range on these these bad boys is not visible if i hover over that but let's see here Okay, notice we don't have any drones on the ship, which is part of why I'm, I'm doing this now. It's got a uh, Warp Scrambler 2. Yeah, we'll just grab one of those. Throw that on there. We've got a Damage Control 2, which is always good. And a 400mm armor. Well, not a 4mm, that's 400mm. And that's a rolled tungsten. Alright, so we'll slap that on there. It looks like we need more power grid. So we don't have the fitting skills for this. But we'll just keep working at the moment. I'm not totally skilled up with my uh, with this particular character. So if we look at engineering, uh, reduction in CPU needs. And that's still CPU. Let's see, power grid management. Bonus to the fire. Yeah, so, all right. So if I skill that up to level four, I should be able to fly this. <clears throat> but it's also got some uh, some rigs on it. So let's find those rigs, and let's not let's make it so that I can do that. There we go. We've got a small bay loading accelerator. One. We'll put one of those on there. We've got a small hydraulic bay thrusters bay thrusters we'll drop one of those on there and an ar a small trimark armor pump and we'll just uh, yeah we can fit the type 2 but they're just calling for the level 1 version alright so we've got 5600 uh, effective defense all of our resists here are in uh, in the armor, we're going to be armor tanking. There is no armor repping. We're not repping anything on this specific build. And let's just grab 400 Mjolnir rockets. Although that will be under charges. Yeah, if I just click that. Now they're suggesting Tech 2 Rage Rocket. Yeah, they're suggesting these. But 5.8 million is for each of these builds. All right, so we've got 63 DPS, 5,600 effective hit points, and that's kind of it. So let's save this, and we'll call this the Solo PvP Armor Dual Web. There we go. We'll save that. So with a little bit of extra extra power grid, we've got 5% extra. Um, 1% is 0.5, 5% should be 2.5, and that still might not give us enough power grid. But <coughs> I think in general, if we skill up all of the options available to us, that'll allow us to, to, to use this. But regardless, let's talk about it. So when you've got rockets, they've got a max flight range of 5,600 meters. So I'm going to need to be close. I'm going to need to be within the webifier range if part of my question is if I'm if I've got to stay within 5600 meters how am I kiting anything right because if I'm at 4000 meters then almost every other ship is going to be able to to take me down like if I'm going up against uh, Minmatar for example or Galente, the drones or the projectile weapons are also going to be within that range. So 
It's curious why we might focus on slowing them down by such a significant margin and then yeah and then think that I'll be able to take them down but it's worth trying so another alternative is the shield buffer so it keeps all of the same basic uh, high level slots it keeps the bay loading accelerator oh no it's gonna be a different one okay so we'll keep the bay loading accelerator we'll get rid of those two and uh, yep the YS38 we'll keep one of the webifiers and we'll add a medium shield extender 2 alright so this will be shield tanked and that doesn't, it doesn't go on the rigs but we'll get rid of that we'll add ballistic control system 2 to add to our damage there we go throw that on there and it looks like we're gonna have CPU issues again I think that's gonna be solved by our fitting fitting issues um, let's see those are still rocket launcher twos we've got a the other rig is a warhead calefaction catalyst warhead calefaction catalyst there we go alright and what does that do let's check that out it Missile damage bonus, 10%. Okay, and this other one? Rate of fire bonus, 10%. Alright, so that those both of those increase the damage output. Look at that. So we were at 63, and now we're at 83. And it's called PvP shield buffer, but I'm not boosting any shields. I do have 700 less effective hit points, and we'll have to find a way to, to solve our CPU problems. But, um, yeah, at least this way we're still using our same prop mod, we're still using uh, the web and a scrambler, so, yeah. Okay, so, that's an interesting build. So let's save that as well. We'll click there, and we'll just call it what it's called here, solo PvP shield buffer, and then we'll save that. All right, so these are a couple options if I want to go into Faction Warfare. I, I'm sure that there's a lot more that I can read up on just to figure out like other builds, whether I should never fly frigates, whether I should only fly destroyers, uh, just for the increased firepower. But I figured I'd jump onto the Kaldari, use my alpha character, and see if I can't do anything. But this one's 7 million-esque and skilling to the point where I'll be able to use um, tech 2 weapons and tech 2 ammo is going to take a little bit of time but you can see that a large portion of the cost is coming from the warp scrambler 2 and the ballistic control system so as I look at these builds I want to find an overall amount that's pretty cheap outfit like 5 to 10 of these ships put them someplace uh, convenient <coughs> and then you know just sort of die come back grab another one head out die come back how grab another one and uh, since I've got the fit saved it'll be easier to sort of just both buy them in bulk as well as just fit them according to the, the ship instead of me dragging and dropping and double clicking so so anyway so I'm going to try to get into some of the Faction Warfare stuff. I'm going to lose, I'm going to die a lot, and hopefully you and I can learn things together. Um, I'm sure I'm going to make a lot of mistakes, so by all means let me know in the comments um, ways that I could improve. If you have a fit that you think I ought to look at, add a link to the comments. I'll, take, I'll check it out. You can use Osmium or maybe it's posted someplace that I can reference. But uh, one way or another, uh, I'd appreciate your input and... I'm glad to be back, so thank you for bearing with me, and I will see you in the next video.